How's it going everyone? You got your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Awful Twitter Takes, and you guys might want to sit back and relax because we are going to be in for a wild one here, and to think all of this stems from Pokemon of all things. Pokemon. Something that is geared towards children of all things. So let's get into this. So to give you guys a little bit of context before we get into the actual bad takes here, just so you guys understand what is going on here, this is all over the Pokemon anime character known as Iris. Iris is a character that was introduced in the Generation 5 Pokemon anime Black and White. Now for those who actually watch the Black and White anime, you would understand that there are some very valid criticisms levied towards the Black and White anime, and one of those criticisms involves Iris's character. And personally, one of the criticisms that I have about Iris's character is her overuse of the what a little kid catchphrase she does towards Ash, making it at times very cringy and very annoying. Now let's get this straight here. Not a single character is ever perfect. Every single character is going to have their flaws. And while Iris may have her flaws, she also has some very noticeable things to give credit for. Such as her love for Pokemon, such as her backstory, and some really amazing and notable moments that really made her stand out in the anime. A few such examples of that would be when she actually managed to tame and catch the rogue Dragonite, as well as tame and calm down a very wild and angry Hydreigon, and she also managed to tame and befriend her Excadrill that was very disobedient towards her. There are moments like those that are absolutely amazing and I personally very much appreciate. But apparently, if you have any forms of criticisms towards Iris or if you dislike her, that means you're racist. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, well, where in the hell did that come from? Well, why don't we take a look at now the main point of the video, aka these bad takes. So this individual states, and I quote, All y'all disproportionately hating Iris for calling Ash a kid really just hate Ash being friends with a black girl. But you don't want to say that out loud. Pokemon isn't stranger to racial slash gender insensitivity. We should talk about it more. Now, let me make this very fucking clear, okay? I am someone that does not tolerate racism or any form of discrimination towards race, gender, religion, etc. I've got a zero fucking tolerance for all of that shit. And if you hate on a character because of their race... That's you being a bigoted asshole. If you hate a character because of their character flaws and their actions within the respective anime, that is valid criticism. But if you are going to hate someone because of their race, that's not valid criticism. That's, again, you being a fucking bigot. But when you give criticisms to a character based on their actions and personality, and you attempt to masquerade that as racism, Honestly, I just gotta ask, are you part of the solution when it comes to fighting against racial insensitivity, or are you actually part of the problem? Because let's dissect this even further, okay? We have ourselves legitimately horrid shit going on in the world today. The world is a very fucked up place, but we already know that, okay? But there is actual racism out there, and racism as a whole is a very fucking serious issue. But when you are taking something as small and as petty as criticizing a fucking anime character and trying to throw around the term racism, that right there not only diminishes the actual meaning of the term racism, but you are essentially making a mountain out of a molehill, and the molehill being valid criticisms against a character who happens to be a person of color. But when you conflate racism with valid criticisms over an anime character, that is a very dangerous and flawed and toxic mindset to have in any form of an argument. Like with this same logic here, 
we can take Max as an example, who isn't a person of color, and we can make all the criticisms that are valid towards Max, but then someone could easily turn around and say, oh, you're just doing it because you're racist. Do you see how messed up and how asinine that logic actually sounds? And you know what? I'll actually name off some characters that I very much enjoy and are actually favorites of mine that are a person of color. Such as the likes of Nessa, such as the likes of Brock, Olivia, Kiawe, just to name a few. I really and truly enjoy not only their designs, but also their characters as a whole. They are not only very strong, and they have very unique personalities that are an absolute hit. Now, the reason for clarifying and also addressing all of this is because... This is more insignificant drama that's taken place in the Antipoke community, and I love the Antipoke community. No community is ever perfect, you know? We all should learn to respect each other's opinions, our likes and dislikes. No two people are the same, okay? We are going to have our differences and opinions, but the biggest thing that links us all together is our love and enjoyment for Pokemon. Why don't we all focus on that, rather than trying to tear each other down and also try and slander and insinuate false things upon one another? That right there is fucking toxic. End of. So hopefully to this individual right here, you take this as a bit of a lesson here, because with your approach in this type of situation, you're pushing away a lot of people, and you wonder why a lot of people are tweeting at you or tweeting about this situation, is because of how incredibly dumb and petty it is. So please take this as a learning experience and understand and be more tolerant of the fact that people are going to have opinions and likes and dislikes that differ from yours. That just doesn't go for you. That goes for anyone that has the same type of outlook on things. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a damn good one. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.